this. Kids, in, people in general, are not particularly good at expressing themselves. They tend to uh, feel self-conscious, or they'll choose the words, they'll tell you what they, you think, they think you want to say, etc. So get them to write stuff. Yeah, and don't look at it, it's their thing. Get them, get them a cool little book or whatever, and when, after training, just write down what you did well, what you think you could have done better, all that kind of stuff. And you will be amazed at how, when they practice that, how much more clearly they think over time. Back in the day when we used to t- take week-long trips away, uh, we used to do uh, scouting competitions, like charting competitions. Day one, it was an absolute pig's ear. By the four, five, and sixth day, it was like crystal clear. Match debrief. Played shit. Serve was awful. You know, and then by the fifth or sixth day, it was, you know, the serve, the serve, you know, let me down maybe on the crucial points. But, you know, actually my second serve held up pretty well. I didn't have a, a great first serve percentage, but my second serve was actually kicking up a little bit today. So it didn't matter because they couldn't attack me anyway. You know, it's amazing. 12, 13-year-olds within five, six days if they start to write. This one is the, the let's imagine if you say this to a child, I say it all the time. Um, if, I, if I take them in the same training and they're bashing the rackets and all this sort of stuff and they're thinking certain things and maybe sometimes verbalizing it, if you say to them, if, you were at the si- if, you're, if somebody was at the side of the court behind the fence saying to you what you are thinking to yourself and even sometimes saying to yourself, what would you want to do? And they would always say, I'd want to punch them in the face. And so you are admitting that you are thinking and speaking to yourself in a way that metaphorically makes you want to abuse yourself physically. It makes you want to punch yourself in the face. We have to find ways of empowering them to actually at least fake it until they become it. But if they are set up with good plans and goals and so on, they will be thinking about that and therefore cannot be thinking about the the bashing. But that, everyone does that. We've all done that. Who's the person you have the, the, the most conversations with? Yeah. I always like it when you do that one and some people go, I don't know. Who's the person? <laughs> yeah, but it's true. You, you have way more time speaking to yourself than you do anyone else. So we need to try and find ways of making them think and speak healthily. <coughs> Writing first is a really good one. Um, with all the phones now you get, you can actually do, like, get them to speak in their own and maybe keep it to themselves and hear words if they write and they get good like from a coaching point of view and for the coaches it's like you'll see words coming out all the time won't you definite things like uh, I always play rubbish when it's like they they don't always that's not it's just not factual but it's what they're thinking so it's it's what they do I never play well when blah 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 when it's windy I never play well and it's like that's rubbish so you pick out it's like well tell me when you did play well in the wind well, if there was this one time, well, that, instantly, it's not a fact. Yeah, just tell me facts. Yeah? And over time, they will learn to take negative situations and turn them into positive. We'll speak a little bit more about that later on. If things don't go well, you might find them doing this. Yeah? guy usually at this time was probably top 10 definitely top 15 in the world watch what, what you might not see it with the light but you'll see in a second what he's done to himself he split his head open yeah he broke his racket you don't hear it because the audio's not on but he breaks his racket the frame broke and he split his head so it's not about being per- perfect because the top players do it as well Federer still will do it every now and again if he's not winning he'll go crazy or whatever so it, it, we're not looking for perfection. We're looking for them to get better every single day, not this way, forwards. 